Hey honey, wish day Midgard. My name is Michelle from Thor Wants Another Letter, and today we're going to be talking about boundaries. So there are some things that have been happening between like six to eight months of 2021 and 2022. I cannot believe I'm saying that. Um, but I've been talking about this to my friends. I've been talking about this to some of my family members, and I just I need boundaries and. It has gotten to this point where something happens and I feel uncomfortable for like a week. And then I'm like, okay. And then something happens again and I'll feel uncomfortable for like a week. And then I'll be okay. And it has gotten to the point where I'm just like, I just need to find a way to prevent these things from happening. Um, and I found this, I saw this TikTok from Life Coach Leo. And it, he talks about how when you go to a club. Um, you either pay the cover charge or you don't get in, right? And he basically equated that you are the bouncer at the door, at your own door of your, you know, of your heart and your, all that. And um, you choose what you allow in your life. And, you know, basic, decent, kind, like kindness and respect, those are my cover charges. And if they can't pay that to you, then bye see you later don't talk to me um and so this is it was one of those things where it was like you know when something is right in front of your face and you don't see it until it's right there it's blatant like right there in your face that was that's boundaries for me um one of my friends it was just last week something happened and i was wildly uncomfortable and um my friend was like, you tend to see the best in people and you don't always, you don't realize when it is hurting you. And I'm like, yeah, that, that's me. You don't have to say it that loud. But it, but she was right to do so because it was not, it was not fun. Um, so here's some basic, here's a basic one. My pronouns are she, her, they. Um, you can use them too. It, it doesn't matter. Um, but just don't, don't call me girly or lady. Um, girly makes me just physically just want to shrivel up. Yeah. Um, that's the basic one. Next, it's a more racial. Uh, I'm not your token brown friend. Uh, you can go to my being indigenous on booktube the first one and the second part and if you don't learn anything and if you if you still continue to do this there's something wrong with you there's still something is not adding up um and so i, I am here literally explaining it so that way you stop doing what you're doing um don't treat me like i'm some kind of encyclopedia also do not message other natives if you're messaging me and then message them the same fucking question that is intrusive it is disrespectful it is wildly over their boundaries because you don't know and um it is a small book community we all talk to each other we have a group chat multiple people have group chats and so if we see somebody that's making us uncomfortable if we see something that's making us uncomfortable, we already know. We've talked to each other. It's in the group chat. We, it's, we've discussed it. So, um, and I've said this multiple times. So just don't do it, okay? Don't be weird. Don't be uncomfortable. Don't make us uncomfortable. Don't ask intrusive questions. Okay? Great. Uh, if you want to get to know me, you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram. You can, res you know, I have people that respond to my stories. And I have had some amazing discussions with some really lovely, nice people on Instagram and on Twitter. Where we've had, like, threads of conversations. Especially in my DMs, a lot of people respond to my stories. And I love when that happens. Um, there's some really supportive people that are just there to spread love and all the good vibes. Okay? Don't ruin the vibes. Um... I don't, I don't respond to message on, on Storygraph 
or um, Goodreads. I, I don't use... I've tried using them. I don't use it anymore. The only time I use Goodreads is if I am posting a review for a publisher. And even then, I, I'm just... I'm so behind that I just can't. Um, which brings to... Which brings me to another one, but I'm going to write it down really quick. I tried writing it out, but it, it just comes off as kind of mean. But um, when you are messaging me or you are responding to something, um, mostly when it comes to DMs, don't jump, jump in my DMs like we're best friends, okay? Um, even my best friends know this. Like, my, my the best people in, in the group chats that I'm in... And like some of the people that I talk to on a daily basis is that the the best way for me to stop talking to somebody is if they approach me as if we're best friends. That is when it is bye, see you later. The wall is down. You are not getting past the wall. It's I've had people that have messaged me like we're best friends, and I'm like, mm, no just no and it has taken them forever to get it has taken them forever to get like actually converse with me because for the most part I'm like oh this person has made me feel uncomfortable so I don't want to talk to them anymore and so it's one of those things like once you have hey buddy can Hi, you Linda. yeah I know you're in one of these points, so I need you to sit over there. Um, but it's come, it, it's one of those things where it's like, once I've had that uncomfortable moment with this person, it is really hard for them to get anywhere near my good graces. Um, I don't know what it is. I mean, Geminis are supposed to be sociable and social butterflies. And it's like, yeah, some of us are. But then also, I have a Pisces moon and a Virgo ascendant. So, psh wall get out of my face um don't and this is even like in person i've had people come up to me and act like my best friend and i'm like buddy you better get out of my face no no i have best friends though i promise i promise i'm gonna i'm semi-nice person just don't treat me like i'm your best friend that's the easiest way for me to just shrivel up and not mm, the wall will be down um don't talk to me the o only when you've read indigenous literature uh it, as you can see from other videos that i've posted i read like fantasy i read queer literature i read graphic novels kid lit middle grade like a bunch of different things sometimes poetry although I'm not really I, I I'm not really good at reading like other genres, um, like I'm not really good at memoirs or literary fiction is completely lost on me. Um, nonfiction, you know, there's there's things that I'm just not good at not good with. Um, so don't talk to me when you've only read Indigenous Lit because then that's you're obviously tokenizing me and tokenizing other people. I really hope that you're not. I mostly hope that you're not doing this to other people, much less me. Um, as you can see, like I said, from other videos, I read other things. So um, the best way to talk to me and to become eventually become some kind of acquaintance slash friend is if we can actually relate and if we can actually have a conversation because if I only had like a few conversations with you and you know we're not sharing like phone numbers or I haven't like you know told you about my family or something like that then we're not friends um because it, it takes a lot for me to trust people and I I tend to overshare and I get, um, and, and I get really in my feelings when, um, that person, like, proves to me that they can't, that they can't treat me with respect and they can't treat me with, um, and they, like, call me names or they're mean to me or, uh, 
are snarky for no fucking reason, that is the quickest way for me to be like, oh, no, honey, I'm done. I'm done with that. I don't do that. Um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, if you do talk to me, I really just hope that you use basic kindness and respect and you're not tokenizing me and that you are not asking me weird, intrusive questions. Um, if Google fails you and you're still like, mm, maybe just don't do it. Um, like I said, I've had, I've had moments in the past few months that have just made me wildly uncomfortable. And I've even messaged, like, I message Alex and Natalie on, like, a daily, the daily freaking basis and the, the UDR. And I've talked to them about this and they're like, what the fuck, Michelle, M Thor, why, why? And I'm like, I don't know because, um, and... So another note that I have as well is that now that I have talked about my son's autism, uh, please don't, like, ask me questions about his autism or, like, his diagnosis or, like, any kind of questions that have to do with that. Um, I am raising him to the best of my ability, and I am not focused on any of that outside of uh, BookTube. I just want him to... Um, I just want the best for him, and so I keep him offline to keep his privacy and also my pri my husband's privacy intact. Um, my husband does not like to be, does not want, like, he said no to video, to being in any kind of videos, any kind of, like, I do post occasional Instagram photos, but other than that, he is not, he, he does not want to be on YouTube. Um, and so... That is what I'm talking about. Um, also, I've had, um, I've had someone message. I've had a couple now between Goodreads and Twitter. I've had people asking me to promote their books, and um, none of them I have been interested in um, at all. I read a poetry collection last year and I didn't like it. I rated it three stars and it put me in a, it put me in an actual reading slump for the entire year. And so, um, I don't, I don't want to, um, I already have a gigantic TBR. I already have a gigantic list of things that I want to read and, um, I'm sorry, but unless it's indigenous literature or it is a queer book or it is a fantasy or something that I personally am interested in or it has like a personal um aspect to it I will not be promoting it um I will not like I will not be asking you for things I I've had a few offers that are were just kind of like on the border of intrusive and so I just I don't I don't want it I don't want it um yeah, there's a very few publishers that I do trust now and um some people some of the people that have messaged me I don't know them and they're not their their books are not it so um that's that's how I what I have for books um, and so, uh, I, I really don't have anything else. I just, uh, I, you know, I recently had some, someone come in my DMs and ask me something about, um, about an, a subject that pertained to, uh, Lakota culture and, uh, it made me feel really uncomfortable after the fact. I did block this person, but I, I think they can still, they'll, that's what really, like, I wish that when I block a person that I could just, that I could push the button and it will just block them on everything. But of course I have to go through and I have to find them. Um, also wanted to point out that, uh, I don't, since I don't, I just respond to Instagram or Twitter DMs. If you have gone so far as to find me on Facebook and try to message me via Facebook, you've gone too fucking far. Um, 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, I've just now kind of been, have even my best friends on, um, on, on Facebook. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't message people on Facebook unless they're like my best friends or unless they're really close acquainted, like we're really close friends. And, um, even then I don't post that much content I, uh, about myself or about my Facebook on, on Facebook. Um, just because I do have like a couple relatives that are more on the side of like, they're more conservative, um, or they have conflicting opinions about certain things. I mean, there, I have one friend, I swear to God. We've been friends for 20 plus years. I love him. I love him so much. He is my brother. I love him. But um, I want to smack the shit out of him every time he has any kind of issue. And, 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 and I just... Unless you're, unless you're one of those people, please do not try to message me on Facebook. Please do not. Because I won't answer you. I will block you so fucking fast. Um... And so those are my, like, that's my thing, okay? Like, just be good to me. Don't call me names. Don't think you can talk to me just any way you fucking want to. Um, and, and I think we'll get, we'll get along just fine, okay? All right, I'm sorry this was 15 minutes. I hope that the people that I do like and the people that I do care about, um, I care about a lot of people that are on here, and I hope that you're doing well, um, and if you're one of the people that have knowingly hurt me and that have knowingly said mean things to me and have knowingly been bad to me, um, I hope you just fuck right off. Get the fuck out. I didn't ask for you to be here. See you later. Go troll somebody else. Go find somebody else. I don't want you here. See you later. Okay? Have fun with whatever it is that you're doing that doesn't have to do with me um on a separate note um i did find out that the suicide hotline is changing this year so um i'm still going to continue to until it changes i'm still going to tell you to continue to tell the people that you love that you love them um because you just never know and um Make sure you're staying safe and you're wearing your mask. A lot of people got sick over the New Year's and Christmas um, because of traveling and COVID and things like that. So just, like, be safe, okay? Um, also, make sure you're bundling up. I know it's January. I know it's going to start heating up very soon, but um, it is still cold outside. It was, uh, I think, 10, maybe, I don't even know. I think it was, like, 15 degrees outside today, something like that. It's supposed to get cold still okay we'll look at the weather here because why not um oh okay yeah it's like zero degrees outside oh my bad it's three degrees outside but it's supposed to get colder tonight we're in a wind chill warning um and tomorrow up to Saturday it's supposed to be cold so make sure you're bundling up and things like that and uh, I, I really don't I really don't have anything I'm still grieving um, my stepmom's funeral was a couple weeks ago and I um, she she really liked this song tiny dancer by Elton John, and I've been playing it over and over, and, like, um, I've just been feeling, like, I don't know, it, it's one of those feelings where you feel like you, you know, should have, like, tried to get to know the person better, but I did not, and, um, so I'm feeling some, re I'm feeling some regret. I mean, ultimately, uh, you know, I'm glad she's not suffering anymore, and, uh, you know, I miss her. I miss my grandma Judy. Um, all I can do is try to be a better stepsister to my brother, Adam, and, um, you know, uh, talk to my dad. 
and but there's there's not a whole lot I can do on that side um, and uh, my uncle has been sick for a while um, and he's been in and out of hospitals and things like that and he's like he's always just been this like um, pillar of masculinity within my family and so uh, you know my mom's really concerned and I'm concerned and it's just it's been hard um, it's hard to plan for the future um, Soren's birthday went really well though uh, we had green cake with sprinkles on top and we it was green frosting of course but uh, devil's food food uh, chocolate cake and we also watched movies and we had cheesy chicken and like we all sat we, we we're couch potatoes we sit at the TV when we're when we're eating um, I know a lot of families like to eat at the dinner table uh, we've never been a dinner table family um, and so we watch TV while we eat and we were watching um, we were watching a movie I can't remember which movie we were watching um, but it was just really nice like having us all sit together and it was one of those moments where um, you know that core memory music from inside out it was like that was playing um, so we had a good time and uh, we also had um, he got to have chicken nuggets for lunch which was nice um, we are gonna have a birthday party for him in a couple weeks I'm not sure quite when we do have to like save up for some things and um, so um, we're gonna be making a party at, at some point you know and then we have I don't think there's anything coming up in February that I'm like oh yeah I'm looking totally looking forward to that um, I've been spending a lot of time with my aunt and she's really cool and uh, she like really gets me and like really understands where I'm coming from and we have a lot of really like introspective conversations um, currently reading um, Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa I have like a whole stack but that's for another video um, anyways I hope that if you're watching uh, let me know if there's any boundaries you have um, or if someone has ever crossed a boundary and like uh, you know uh, tell me what you're looking forward to because you know why not and I hope you're having a great day and you're staying safe okay I mean it about the staying safe part and make sure that you're taking care of yourself because you know um, I had something but it just phew. anyway I will talk to you all in another video and I will see you when I see you Bye.